Let's go against the wall. Sniff. Grab. Come over. I've done it! Right, shield up, shield up. Heal, 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 heal. Look at my health. Bottom right. Hi guys, Steve here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to tame a reaper on the back of a drake without any traps whatsoever. I've armoured my bulb dog up so he's ready. I'm going to show you how to do this in stages. One of the end stage, I've built this alien containment because a little baby's going to burst out of your chest and then run around, get stuck behind everything. It'll be a nightmare to try and click on to claim and it'll, if you've got any bulb dogs or any other dinos you'll start attacking that so I've built this alien containment I'll go in this side so it's got three compartments I've built a window there so I can look at it hopefully it can't break it I've not actually tried that before though and then this is a middle compartment with a light so I can see where it is so I'm going to stay here it's going to burst out my chest then I can go into the one of the other compartments, close the door and hopefully lock it, but if it comes in here I can go into the next compartment, lock it next compartment, lock it so I can trap it in here, it's got ceiling so it won't escape outside I have my three drakes ready the main pain in the butt about this method is you've got to have really good drakes and you've got to level them up or spend hours and hours leveling them up. Uh, these are my f best ones. This one's 185, 185 and 190. But a 190 had pretty bad stats. I'll just show you what they are. I managed to get this up to just nearly 16,000 health. But the damage is really weak. It was like 290 when I first got it. This is my best damage. I've got it past 414 and almost 15,000 health then this was my best health drake so I've gone that tanky with 20,000 and that's got 381 health, uh, damage so hopefully I'll be using these and I won't need any more but I've got spares in case I need them and yes that one has bugged under the ground right the first thing you need to do I would say is to get uh, reaper glands and that will disguise you as the Reaper Baby's mummy. So I want to get on the Drake and go and do that now. Right, just make sure I've got a spare hazmat suit. Right, the Reapers are found in the bottom right hand side of a map. Down there, that's the best place for them. You can also find them bottom middle where I'm putting them on the map. Oh, this is my base location. It is at 47.45 and it's here. Just off from the blue zone. Well, blue and green zone. Green zone's up there. And as you can see, it's not irradiated. So, you can spawn here and you won't get irradiated as soon as you spawn. Plus, uh, you don't want to get irradiated once you've been impregnated by the Reaper Queen or it kills a baby inside you. So you've got to constantly have your biohazard suit on if you're in a radiation zone otherwise the baby will die once you've impregnated. So let's point that direction. And I'm going to go into the zone. I'll meet you there. Right, I'm in the bottom left hand side of the map and the area in front of me is a reaper spawn area and the area in the bottom right is as well. So I'm going to move forward. Uh, if you f You're going to have to fight and clear the area in some places and if you do, try and do it next to one of these Z plants because it will heal your drake up so you don't have to keep feeding it food all the time 
because you're going to take a lot of damage in here because there's many many enemies so I'm going to move forward on a plant I have to fight a drake for her your plant so it opens up it'll start healing you and start feeding your drake meat so that heals it as well double healing you get meat from just about anything you kill down here apart from drakes but with those you barely get any all right there we go back to full health now, like I say, there's no point killing drakes for me because, like, I'm on times four and I only get 13. But what you can do is turn off your bulb light, wait for Nameless to spawn. Only coming. And kill those because they give lots of meat. Plus, you can kill everything else down here, like Spinos, there's Nameless coming. If you leave the Alpha one alive, a red one, then it'll keep spawning nameless, but I'll turn the lights on. So. Right. There you go. 115 meat, and I'm on times four. This zone, uh, you've got a plant to heal yourself every time. And it's nice, big and open, so you can see everything coming, you can escape. And the coordinates to this area is 74 by 41. You can see it on the map, the arrow. And I would say this, if you were going to build a reaper trap, this is one of the best places to build it. So you can see a reaper there and a reaper up there. And of course, clear the enemy out if you're going to build a trap. You don't want them interfering with you. Right. Let's get a Reaper up. Come on, little fella. Come, big mummy. There we go. What level are you? Right, you know how the plant heals you. Well, why don't you just fight the Reaper next to the plant? It gets damaged. You get constantly healed. 15. So in the long run, you're going to take a lot less damage. Reaper glands. Just like that. Right, let's pick the meat up. Spitting out. See. I emptied out the Drake's inventory so I had space enough to collect them. So after you killed Reaper again, 
Parky Drake next to the plant, it'll heal you up. Let's put everything in. Feed it meat and heal your Drake up again. Super fast healing. Glands, as you can see, don't have a decay meter, so you can keep them on yourself. I'm going to heal up. That's how you get the glands. I'm going to go back to base, switch out my drakes for one with more health. And go looking for a reaper to get impregnated by. In fact, I'm going to bring some stims with me as well. Right, I went back to base to get some more stuff. I didn't have here. Uh, extra suits, just in case. Some stimulants and some more wood spikes. And that's all I should need. Uh, let's get the gland and put them with the ones I got last night. I've got 16 in total. Uh, health potions, blood packs. Do I need extra water? No, I'll be okay. Food. Going on my best Drake this time. Even though this one's got more damage. 414. Mm, let's give it some meat so it doesn't eat mine. got everything. Right, the bulb dog had six extra levels, so I put it in uh, light range. Mission range. So hopefully when it's attacking the wood spikes, Reaper will get the light shun on it. get damage and we get a debuff. Right. Because I, was, I like that area so much, I'm going to go back there and I'm going to show you how to get back there. Right, just making sure I've got everything. I think this is everything. I'm a bit nervous. It's the very first time I've ever done this. Not even tested it before, but in theory it should work fine. Right. From my base, which is the best area you can build down here, at 47.45, just off my green zone, no radiation. Right, what's my weight like? Here we go. So you fly across. Go to the other end of a chasm. Go up here. And you're looking for that metal runway. Like so. Let's see if I can get, remember this correctly. Right, it goes off to the left, but you don't want to go there. You want to head straight ahead. I think. <laughs> I'm looking. Yes, it is. So you're looking for two uh, land bridges like this. Go across. Charge station there. And you're looking for those spikes in front, crystals above. Okay, memorize it. Go forward past these spikes. And you want uh, that's a reaper I've pulled off from the top above. Head to the left. So from that corridor you go up there to the left and you're back at this plant. And 
there's a plant. Right, let's, I'm gonna probably remove that spike. There's our hunting ground. Oh, two new reapers have spawned. If you get low level reapers, what I did was just come over here, drag them off to the side, they'll fall down, and then they'll be out of range of a spawn area, and new reapers will spawn. So, I think it's three that spawn in front of us. So, you know where to find it now, and the coordinates of this is 7340. Find this spot by accident, but it's one of my fave spots. Alright, got the bed. Need a safe place to put it. Out of the way of a reaper. Uh, if I put it here, I can drop down. In case anything bad happens. Let's put it there. There. This is in. I'm putting this bed here in case when I get impregnated, uh, there's a very small chance that it will tail whip me after it's impregnate, impregnated me. And when it impregnates me, it takes virtually all my health down. Reaper bed. Right. It's, it should be out of the way. Let's try and lead the Reaper into a tunnel of death. It will hit the spikes when attacking me, then damage itself. Okay, save the rest. <sighs> right. Here goes everything. Let's see if I can find a high level one. this way. Good. Can I drop it off here? This one, two, come on. Down here. low-level ones down there. You don't have to kill them. But we're far enough from away from the spawn point that new ones will spawn. Right, I've had a 10, a 20. So not the best up to now. The higher level the Reaper is, the higher level your baby will be and your end reaper will be. 25. Come on, down here. You're not needed. That's it. Go to there. I'll jump here and reset. Okay, I'll keep going. Back in a bit. For those of you who don't know, when you lead the Reapers away, obviously you're not going to get new dinos spawn right in front of you, because that'll... you think, what the hell, where did he come from? 
So what you need to do is go out of view range. I go over here. Over to this one. Still in view range. Go to this one. And then glide back again. So when you lead the reapers off the edge or down the side, just go that far away. Come back. Hopefully new ones will be spawned. Any new reapers anywhere. Sometimes they're there instantly, sometimes you have to wait a bit and go out and back in again. Check my armour. Oh crap. I've been here so long. My armour's nearly destroyed. wings around. Let's try again. I think I've been here over an hour. Oh, that's new spawn, so promise. Where have you come from? So he's nearly full from the amount of meat I've eaten. Some of the reapers I've pulled down below. Right, let's just heal up. Don't need those. Oh, I forgot to put this on. Uh, don't need the gun. Not really, anyway. More food. Don't need that. Got that from a drop. There we go. Uh, stimulants. Let's see if we've got any this time. There's one. Is that one or two? Next to each other. One. Right, little fellow. What's lovely you? Can't be a high one. Not bad. I would have preferred a 150, but I'm not waiting here any longer. You get the point of how long it takes. Right, turn the bulb light on. Wait until it goes debuffed. Go on, that's it. Just chew on that. Like. Like I say, you're not using a trap. The only reason why you're doing this is to just wear the health down on it. So, while I was fighting this, I remembered I forgot to bring a magnifying glass. I couldn't check its health properly, and I kind of accidentally killed it. <laughs> so yes, add that to the things you need to take. Balls! <laughs> Right, it's a fair bit later. I need to change my armour again. I've gone through a few Reapers. But I found an okay one. Alright, let's take the wing off. On there. I've rebuilt my trap. Let's put... Let's make it aside. Well, it's not a trap, is it? It's a damage wall. Right, where's that? There he is. Any of us? There she is. Come on. Come on, big girl. 140. Alright. What a complete pain in the butt it was to get you up. Turn 
turn the bull blood dog on. And there you go, damage away. I've got more traps. Uh, more spike walls this time. Right, let's get you debuffed. There we go. Take two. And I've got my magnifying glass. So I can see its health when I'm closer. Busy. I've got a magnifying glass. There you go. She damages herself. Right, these two look like we're going to get destroyed and are you going to come? Come back go. Kill this one. I should be upset. Right, there we go. Let's get you a cut on this one. It is best if you've got a bulb dog with super long range. Some spikes up your ass. You tail and nibble. You can also do the lantern if you want and just place one one side, one the other facing this so she'll just get permanent light on her. Oh she's damaged herself. Let's have a bit of healing. Oh. I forgot I used to have a meet up. There we go. Have a nice relaxing break by taming her most dangerous creature in Ark at the moment anyway finish destroying that get on a few more spikes before it gets destroyed and I can't place it. Come on. That's it. You want to bite me, don't you? Yes, you do. Let's try 
and get around to the right side. Get a debuffed. There we go. Whenever it tail whips you, it looks like it takes aggro away from spikes and puts them on you. Let's go this side. Oh, there's a hell of a lot of reapers. Uh, seekers. Light off. Light on. Might kill those, get me some food. I want you to destroy those so you can come here. Don't chew your tail. Don't chew your tail. Right, if I kill this one I'm going to cry because there's no way I'm waiting more hours to get this, another one up. As soon as the light goes on it, it looks like she tail whips. I can bite too. Yeah, I don't like it up yet. Accident then. Could you tell? <laughs> Coming back to you, little Reaper. I'm going to let you kill yourself and you pick up the Seekers and get yourself some meat. Let's have a car now. Playing with my spikes, enjoying herself. There we go. I get none of the spikes, girl. Surprise! Let me place that there, are oh, yeah. let's, let's build another wall trap. Come over here. Come for play. Oh, all lights off. Deep buffy, don't I? Right, let's let it play with that for a while. And feed my baby some food. Screamed. No, she's not interested on in me still. Look at that health shoot up. Do 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 do. If I go back, don't wanna make her feel like she's been neglected. <laughs> well, she's doing all the hard work for me. Look at that health. Let's do count the thousand. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight, six. You have to take about 16 seconds. Oh, that fall down there. Good. Ah, wrong one again. I always put my build on the three. Come this side. I'll play with you in a minute. There you go. 
damage wall is awesome. That one. She's got some scratches on her. Oh, no, you're not going anywhere to play, don't you? So let's look at her down. Got a below health health, and I'm barely even damaged my train. Keep her going. I'll try and top this one up for the final push at the end. Took it while for his tongue to come up. Takes about 16 seconds to fill each thousand up. Which is almost done. That should be enough, shouldn't it? You finished playing with the fences? Want to play with me now? Oh, you look a bit scratched up, girl. Let's go to the other side. Give you more fences to play with. Now you're going to tell Whitmer when the light debuff. Okay, no tail whip yet. Here, you can't get me. Every time I debuff her, she tries to dip so well. Let's help the spikes out. Sure, you're not impressing anyone. You're stupid enough to damage yourself on the spikes. Now for the final push. Okay. Yeah, I'm hunting you now. Okay, you're hunting me. <laughs> Go on, slip it back behind you. There we go. Shut up, that kid. Scare me. Maybe a little. Especially if it's on foot and yeah, I've got to awesome try it. Health check. One, two, three.
more to find us. Light off. Come on, you below a thousand. Oh, it's gone red. There you go. Come on. You want to nip me, don't you? You want to go. Mmm, it tastes good. I'm showing you my bum. I'm showing you my bum. Bite you one more. Are you gonna grab me? I've never actually done this before. So you're not gonna grab me while I'm on the track. Oops, you missed me. Right, let's leave. Lead you away from there. Let's go against the wall. Sniff. Grab. Come over. I've done it! Right, shield up, shield up. Heal, 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 heal. Look at my health. It's bottom right. It's gone down to virtually nothing. And that, guys, is how you impregnate yourself on the back of a lovely little drake like this. With no traps, just a damage wall. Like I say, you could put a harpoon gun down if you want and shoot it from distance. Easy enough. Right. I've increased the maturing rate, so I've only got 1 hour 11 minutes to get XP. If you notice in the bottom... Let me just heal myself. And stand next to the flower so my drake gets some healing. If you notice in the bottom right, there's like six icons. Top right one is offspring XP. Now, you don't get bonus XP like any of the other tames. You've got now got to go around and kill everything, and that XP gets added onto this. And that gives you bonus levels onto your Reaper. Okay? And I've got time ticking down. I'm on... I uh, can't remember... I've boosted my maturing. I can't remember how much, but though. So I'm going to go around now level up that give it to base remember do not get irradiated or the baby dies look at that second time lucky first time I kinda of killed it so yeah take your magnifying glass it does help <laughs> so I'm gonna go around now you could kill reapers, they give you loads of XP, but I'm going to try and go up to the surface and uh, go, that's the way back and kill spinos on the spino river now you don't have to actually go around killing stuff with your drake now but what I'm going to do is take my alpha spino I suppose I could do it on a drake, do the entire video with a dra on a drake yeah, I suppose we may as well. Move around quicker. There's our base. So I've got to get back here in one minute, nine minutes. One hour, nine minutes. But you you lot are going to have like four hours, eight hours, whatever. I can't remember what the official uh, time is. But like I say, I've boosted my... Uh, maturing rates on this, so I've only got an hour. I didn't want to go around uh, for like four hours, or this video would be quite long. So I'll try and make it short as possible. But I have an offspring. I feel like Ripley. <laughs> I've got a baby inside me. I'm going to be a mummy and a daddy. So yeah, you need to jump off your uh, drake at the end when it's glowing red, otherwise it'll just keep attacking the drake. <sighs> First time trying it, managed it. Right, let's get to Spino River and start levelling up. In fact, I'm going to jump until now. 
Right, I'm at Spino River. That's the waterfall end of it. 41.50 and I'm going to work all my work way up there. Killing everything. Just a shoe XP. See, look at offspring in the bottom right. As I kill stuff, that goes up. Spinos are easier. We have 300. Let's go for the next one. Hey, Spino. Really, you're just going to run away now? Now I want to eat you. Oh, some Spino trap. What are you scared for? That's it. It would be quicker going up and down here on my awesome Spino, but I may as well do the entire video in one Drake. Yeah, we're going anyway now. Right, how much XP is that going to give me? What level are you? 130. Oh, well, I've got. S Holy crap, I've got six levels for that. Alright. So I don't think I need hours and hours. What level are you? 25. Seven levels. So the Reaper that impregnated me was 140. I might actually go back and try and get a 150. But I don't think I'll ever use the Reaper, but so. But if it only costs you a few wooden spikes, you can literally put them down anywhere, go around the entire map on your Drake, no need to build a trap. Ooh, are you going to be a 150? If you are, I'm afraid you're going to be eaten. No. Let's see what the fish is as well. Everything added bonus. Nine plus levels now. Turn. Whoop, I'm getting overburdened. I've got no stamina. Come back and get my revenge on that piranha. Right, I'm going to go up and down here. Killing everything. Spinos leaving. And when it's close to the time to go back to base, I'm going to go there and see the baby pop out my chest. I need to heal my Drake up though, it's a bit injured. So I'll do that when I get to the next point. Serve me well. Okay, see you in a bit. Don't need the right shield anymore. So I've made it all the way to the end of Spino River, back to the spawn area, portal. Uh, back there now. And I've got 26 levels, so the Reaper is going to come out at 166, hopefully. Oh, I've got pills there. Alright, back down again. Leave all the crabs. So see ya. About 55 minutes. Wow, my finger is absolutely killing me pressing that attack button. I've had to actually create a macro where it presses attack for me without pressing a mouse button. That was ridiculous. Right, I've got some time left. And the maximum amount of levels you can get is 75. Alright. So, I'm going to go back 
to my metal base. Which is just down here. Yeah, I'd advise doing a macro for your attack. Because it just gets ridiculous. Right. Which way am I going? There it is. Drake's still stuck under the floor. Oh, there's a little lamb. Right, what do I need? Nothing there. Transfer everything back in there. Take a right shield down in case the little nipper's a bit aggressive. Let's take the meat. Don't eat the fish. I'm sure it's never eaten fish before. Right, I've got two minutes left before it pops out my chest. Take some of those. Just, uh, oh yeah, I better keep the healing pack on me. Don't need the spikes anymore. They were awesome. If you use metal ones, it won't attack them. Right, got food, I got medic, got my glands. Let's put them on there. Let's put some armor on in case it gets a bit feisty with me. That's the armor I got from the extinction event. Sure, it won't in his shield. He'll see me as his mummy. Right, because there's no radiation here, I can take my radiation gear off. So you can see it come out of my chest. One minute to go. Enter the alien containment. I've got food. It eats normal meat, by the way. Windows closed, so I can't escape. Press K. Oh, bulb dog. Bulb dog, sorry, bulb dog. Quick, it'll eat you. Let's put it there to tempt. No, fuck it. Let's put it over there so it doesn't tempt you because I don't want to break in through the glass if it can. Right, you ready? prepared. I'm prepared to be a mummy and daddy. Those abs. How's attacking? Really? Now? Five? Four? Three? I've got indigestion. Right, uh heal up oh shit. Gland forget to take your gland. Right, I think some of we now claim it. Alright. Let's have a quick look. Okay little fella. Right. The egg hatching is on times ten and my maturing is on times fifty. Let's give it some food. So much we can give it. It's maximum. Gets wiggly tail. Likes it in the corner. Right, stop you lot following up. Gonna have a look at your face. You're just gonna hide in the corner. Yeah, you now have got your trapped. So another health brew. Need to show you how to make those. Don't know 
another episode. Wants care in just under 10 minutes. Every time you go in there, you've got to uh, eat a pheromone gland, otherwise it will attack you. In fact, I should show you. It's a little feisty. Because the way out. Bulldog's safe. Go away from there. Did, was that me who did get damage to it? Let's try and drum away with a bulb dog. He finds he's most tasty. Do you want a little bulb dog? Oh, he does love. He loves them. Get in there, you nasty thing. Yeah, I got you. Ah. Look at it, he's trying to climb through. Sorry, little fella. He's trying to make a run for it. In fact, let's get you a young wandering. Melee, not bad. Ooh, health's good there. Let's enable wandering, see if it moves around. That's what it starts off as. You can't really see its head. Wait. Move. Move that away. There's another health bro. Got a hundred seconds before my pheromone goes off. But let's show you what happens. Let's get some armor on. Alien containment. Oh, sticking his little head out. I think he wants to go for that bulb dog. Come up there. Baby Reaper King. You only get kings. need. If it's something exotic it's not getting it. I'll give it a cuddle. Gender not available. Oh, it says a king, I'd say it's a male. Let's give it some more food. Don't want me out for do you? Six minutes. It's moving. Oh, my pheromone's gone off. My pheromone's gone off, look. This is what it does for me. It gets a bit hostile. Look at it, look at it, a little nipper. Let's get it down this side. Ah, uh, trap chair! Ha ha ha! Yeah, look at it! Precious little fella! I'm definitely not opening that window. He's trying to get between a gap in it, he's clever. Okay, back in a bit. Bigger. He's a growing lad. Do 
the size of him now. He's going to hurt if he bites you. Oh, he's jumping on me, look. Look at it. Ah, uh, my containment beat you, my friend. You've been outbuilt and outthought. Ooh, did you see that? Alright, let's get it out of here. Got my shield on, it's okay. Alright, come little fella. I've not got my pheromones on at the moment, so... Come on. Oh, it's getting a bit feisty. Let's give it loads of meat. Right, I think the time when it's attacks you because you've not got pheromones oh, is over so in fact let me before it grows anymore let's take the doggy outside let's actually can't escape keep you out there keep you safe little friend you get dangerous in here in a moment resources right, come on there's my little baby and my daddy is he in let's take a hub off oh, he texts after me he's got, he's got my features he's got my eyes Right, once a cuddle. That I can do. It's growing fast. Level 215, not bad. It's going to be a monster, literally. His stubby little tail. Gonna poison and kill people with it. Imprinting. I should get quite a bit extra if I'm if it's just cuddles and walk. If he wants kibbles, he's gonna be out of luck. Right, fourteen seconds to go. He's growing up fast. Coming a big fella. Go and be cuddle again. Oh. Yeah. Now with the Drakes it took about three well the settings I've got on. Uh three uh care. But this one it takes a lot more. Right, let's get you outside while we can, because I don't want to destroy the building. It's Godzilla. Oh, it doesn't like a plan. Okay. Don't get stuck inside now. Drakes will protect it. Don't need this helmet. I can see it better. Oh, it's like it's too weak. Right, back in a bit. My Reaper's getting big now. Let's take the helmet off. As you can see, it wants Spino Kibble. It's 
So something finally found to use the eggs from. There we go. I made a few extra just in case it needs it. Ooh, look at his health. Damage is remaining the same, I think. Uh, health's going up though. It's going to be a big lad. Okay, back in a bit. Alright, the next one's done. But it needs Demetrodon Kibble, and I don't have one of those. So it's like I'm going to miss the last imprint. No, oh, 75 cents, not bad. 25,000 health. It is nearly done. It's now a big giant. It's a big daddy. Now come back when it's later and try it out. My baby's all grown up. To be a big strong lad. Now let's take it for a spin. Who's gonna mess with me? Put it on neutral. So every time I seek it came and it kept moving. Right. Where's everyone gone? They're all scared of me. Right, put a helmet on would help. Get radiation poisoning. Right, let's do jumping tap. It's a big, dangerous, giant killer kangaroo. Works the same as a crab. You hold, you press space again, and it drops down. Left mouse to bite. Grrr. Right mouse to use a bowl of poison. Let's try a little jump. And charge jump. Where's the other dinos gone now? Charge jump in here. As high as it goes. What's oh, a big one? Ooh, a, bit, a bit of fall damage there. Uh, C to do tail whip. Typical. It's usually hundreds of dinos out there. When I get this thing, you'll vanish. Try its options. As you can see, there's no saddle for it. The dev should have put in a tech saddle, at least. There's only three tech items on this map. Right. Berry. You can keep it lying in wait, and then if anyone comes across it, it'll jump out and kill them. Barry. And there's my big monster. Just drink up there. I'm gonna get you. Okay, climb it. I can't escape. Hit it with that, it's very slow moving. Strikes a high level. 
Oh. Yeah, it is good. A little dog just bark twice then. A little bulb dog. Points and its damage. I am Godzilla. Rah. Right, obviously the downside with this is that if I get nameless come up because the bulb light's not on like that if I put my bulb light on my reaper gets debuffed as well like that smoking let's turn that off Alright for seekers. But if I'm going down in this area, I'm gonna have to have yeah. let's see how actually much damage it does on those without lighting. The lights. your two choices. Obviously you won't get nameless when you start going up levels. That's the blue or green zone. Right guys, that's how you tame a reaper with a drake. Now instead of building a trap everywhere, well a trap somewhere then kites the reaper to it if you even can do that you can now just go down to wherever the reaper is so go around find the best level turn that off go there with some spikes with your drake and tame any max level reaper you want fairly easily helps if you've got a good uh, flower there as well Plant. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And I shall see you on my next episode. I'm going for Rock Robot soon. Goodbye. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to my other videos at the end. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you again. Goodbye.